Yes, everyone wants to go to heaven. But it's a requirement of getting there. Yes, the preacher man might say that the sister going to heaven, his brother going to heaven, but it's a requirement of getting to heaven. So today, or this evening, or tonight, I'll be dealing with a subject of to live is Christ and to die is gain. So when Paul was discussing that is it is it the requirement because it's amazing that a lot of people want to want to live but don't want to die i remember the story but how this look this teacher asked the question how many people want to go to heaven and a lot of people have raised their hand a lot of youth kids have raised their hand but one kid didn't raise his hand he said teacher i thought you was talking about leaving today to go to heaven so i'm saying to you that the requirement of getting to heaven is not just talk, is action behind our deliberation. Because heaven is a place that is beautiful. Heaven is a place where God said, I'll wipe all tears from your eyes. Heaven is a place where God said, I'll make all things new again. We not like the JW, the Jehovah Witness that that they predicted that how the, the, the mansion going to be in California. But Jesus Christ said, I go prepare a place for you where I am, ye shall be also. And let not your heart be troubled. Ye believe in me, believe also in my father's house. There are many mansions. It's amazing that money can, uh, can buy a house, but money can buy this home. Because home is you must be born again. You must be born of the water and the spirit. And the next phase of this is you must live for Christ and to die is gain. So let's go. In Philippians chapter 1, verse, let's say verse 20. And it says that according to my earnest expectation and my hope, my expectation that in nothing I shall be afraid, ashamed, but that with all boldness, so now also Christ shall be magnified in my body, whether it be by death or by whether it be by life or by death. For to me to live is Christ, and to die is gain. But if I live in my flesh, this is my fruit of my labor, yet what I shall choose I want not, for I am in straight betwixt two having the desire to depart and to, to die with Christ which is far more better nevertheless to abide in flesh is more needful for you and what I'm saying to you that's viewing this video I had a bumper sticker on my car yes that if you die today where would you spend everlasting life and I'm saying that a lot of people want to die or let's let's scratch that. A lot of people want to go to heaven, but don't want to live for Christ. A lot of people want to go to heaven, but don't want to die for Christ. Paul say that to live is Christ. Listen, if you're not living for Christ, you are living for the devil. If you're not living for Christ, you're living for money. If you're not living for Christ, you're living for your children. If you're not living for Christ, you're living, you're living on your own desire. But Paul say, for me to live is Christ. Our liberation, our liberty is to live for Christ. I'm living for Christ, my friend, because living for Christ is more better than silver and gold. Living for Christ is more better than a worldly throne. Living for Christ is better than than a million dollar or a billion dollar or win the lottery. Yes, for all those folks that's playing the lottery, the uncertain riches, you scratching yourself for what? Some might come and blow your brains out and the money cannot save you. What I'm saying to you that for live is Christ. And how do you live for Christ? You live or obedience life before him. Amen. You live a life that's pleasing 
in his sight. You live in a, 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 a life that, that your body belongs to God. God don't, don't need no lamb or, or God don't need no bull or pigeon or turtle dove as sacrifice. God wants your body. Amen. He wants your body. He wants your vessel. Amen. That's what Paul said. I urge you, brethren, by the mercies of God, that you present your body a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable God, which is your reasonable service. Be not conformed to this world, but be transformed by renewing of my mind. Paul said, when I preach to other, I make myself a castaway. Amen. He said, woe to me if I preach not the gospel. We must die daily, my friend. How you die? You die, you dying to, to sin. Amen. That's why it's important to be to be emerged, to be baptized. To that means your whole body go under the water. Don't be like that person that hold their two fingers up because they want to stop smoking. But you must you must go under the water and come in immunes of life. Amen. Paul say, Shall con shall I continue sin that grace may have been? God forbid. How should we live any longer therein? So when you when you're being immersed in the water, you are dying to the old man, and here come the new man. That's why Paul. That's why Paul saying that if any man be in Christ, he's a new creature. All things are passed away. All things become new. So Paul is telling the nation, telling everyone that for me to live is Christ. And the next part, and to die is gain. Yes, to die, my friend. You know, are you willing to die for Jesus? If you can't take somebody talking about you, you're not ready to die. If you're not, if you're not, uh, 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 somebody hurting your feeling, you're not ready to die. But to die is gain. Uh, I believe Peter say that. Thinking that strange concern of fire trial would just try you as though some strange things have happened unto you. It's not strange when people talk about you. It's not strange when people criticize you. It's not strange when people separate you from their friends. Amen. But if you are part of the world, amen, you will not suffer. But if you if you are suffering as a Christian, glory, hallelujah. Amen. But if you're not suffering of a, of a Christian, that means you're doing everything that the world tell you to do. But if you are being separated from your friends, friends at work, if you are not part of their cliques, if you're not part of their jokes, amen, you are a part with them. But if you are ready to die, if you're ready to be separated from your friends, especially on your job. Amen. They're going to talk about everything, but when it comes to talk about religion or Christianity, they're ready to change the subject or ready to walk away. If we talk about the sports, if we talk about politics, they, they, they're ready to talk. But when we talk about salvation, they become numb and they're ready to move on. But what I'm telling you that that to get to heaven, you must live for Christ and to die is your gain. Amen. Glory to God, because dying is very important. Dying, that means that you are willing to give your life to Christ. Jesus Christ told the disciples that, listen, you must take up your, you must take up your cross and follow me. There is a cross for you, my friend. The same cross that Jesus Christ bear, we must bear. We might not carry a wooden cross to, to old Gotha or, or to old Calvary. But we have a cross that we must carry. The cross is suffering for the name of Jesus Christ. How many people that, 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 that don't, don't want to suffer but want to get to heaven? I want to suffer because, listen, the only way to identify that I'm a Christian if I suffer. Glory to God. Because suffering is part of this thing called Christianity. It's not so much about carrying the Bible in your armpit. It's not so much dressing up to go to church. It's not so much saying hallelujah, glory to God. But Come a come a point that that we must suffer for the name of Jesus Christ because suffering is part of this thing called Christendom. All the disciples they died for the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. To to receive a better resurrection. Amen. So so I'm telling you that dying 
is part of Christendom. Don't let nobody fool you. Don't let nobody change your mind about dying. Because dying, hey, glory to God, you will receive your crown of glory. The Bible says uh, that in Hebrew, the 12th chapter, uh, and I'm going to read it for you. It says that, verse 36, And other had a, a trial of cruel mocking and scourging, yea, moreover, bond and imprisonment, they were stoned. They were saw asunder, were tempted, were slain with a sword. They wandered about in skin clothes and goat skin, being destitute, afflicted, tormented, of whom the world was not worthy. Amen. Now, if you want to die, amen, you must die according to this. Amen. Because everybody want to go to heaven, but don't want to die. Everybody want to go to heaven, but don't want to live for Christ. They wandered in desert and mountains and in dens and caves of the earth. And these all obtained a good report through faith. Receive not the promise. God having provided some better thing for us that they without us should not be made perfect. What well, I'm saying that in Hebrew chapter chapter. 11 is called the hall of faith. Do you have faith, my friend? Because going this way called Christendom, we must suffer for the name of Jesus Christ. Everybody want to go to heaven? Yes. But how many people want to live for Christ and die for Christ? I'm ready to die for Christ because dying for Christ is more precious than a million dollars. Dying for Christ is more precious than my friendship with the world. Dying for Christ is more precious than being a boss, amen, than have a promotion on your job. Dying for Christ is more better than, than diamond or platinum, amen. Dying for Christ is more better than, than receiving a nice pretty car, amen, because, and, that, and that's a problem that we have in our society. We must lay aside the, the weight and the sin that easily beset us, amen. Jesus Christ told the disciples, in me you might have peace. In the world of tribulation, be of good cheer. I have overcome the world. These things I spoke unto you. In me you might have peace. In the world of tribulation, be of good cheer. I have overcome the world. And it's amazing that my friend that that. Yes, a lot of people. Yes, a lot of people want to die. Yes, a lot of people want to want to go to heaven, but few people want to die for Jesus. He said, "Many are called, but few are chosen." Straight is the gate, and now is the way that lead to life, and few there be that find it. And broad is the way that leadeth to destruction, and many there be. That find it because if you raise your hand and say who ready to die for Jesus, they start remembering that they got a good job. They start remembering that I just bought my house, I just got married, I just got a got a child, I just got I just got promotion on my job. But to live is Christ, and to die is gain. Now Jesus Christ, when Jesus Christ was ready to depart from this world. And then he said this to, to the, his disciples in uh, in St. John 16, chapter, verse number one. These things have I spoken to you that in me you, you should not be offended. You should not be upset. They shall put you out of the synagogue. Yea, the time cometh that whosoever kill you will think that he doeth God's service. And these things will they do unto you because they have not known the Father, nor me. But these things I have told you that when the time shall come, ye may remember that, that I told you of them. And these things said unto you at the beginning because I was with you. But now, but now, listen, but now I go my way to him that sent me. And none of you ask whither goes thou but listen what they say now and this is this is what what will help us in this way of salvation he said verse 7 nevertheless i tell you that the truth 
it is expedient for you that I go away. For if I go not away, the comforter, the comforter, not the female spirit, not the, the radar being, the comforter, amen, will come unto you. But if I depart, I will send him unto you. And when he is come, now this, this is when, when the Holy Ghost is, is, is come, it's here now. He will prove the world of sin and of righteousness and of judgment, of sin because they believe not on me. What Jesus Christ is saying? They believe that Jesus Christ is not God. Amen. Yes, I'm, yes, I'm talking to Joe Witness. Yes, I'm talking to the Seventh-day Adventists. They don't believe that Jesus Christ. I'm still a subject of, of heaven, but this is part of going to heaven, my friend. To live and to die. Because if you are a bona fide Christian, people are plotting to kill you right now. Because they're saying that you standing for a man that we hate. you standing for a person that we hate. And that's Jesus Christ. Because Jesus Christ is not Lucifer, brother. Amen? As the Mormon you say, Lucifer and Jesus Christ was not brother. Because Jesus Christ is God. And how can God be a brother of, of Lucifer? Amen. Glory to God. Listen, verse 9. Of sin because they believe not on me. Of righteousness because I go to my father and ye shall see me no more. And of judgment because the prince of this world is just. The prince of the world is the devil. But my friend, to live is Christ. And to die. Is gain. And what I'm saying to you as I read verse 33, that this is part of it. That Jesus Christ told his disciples, like I'm telling you that's viewing this video right now. Are you ready to die for the name of Jesus Christ? Or have you have you considered Christianity? Have you considered salvation? I'm not saying religion, because religion set rules. And Christianity is a relationship with a person, and a person is Jesus Christ. You might call him another name, but his name is Jesus Christ. Because the Bible says there is no name under heaven whereby we must be saved. And it says that also in Philippians that every knee shall bow, every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. What I'm saying to you as you view this, are you ready to die? For the name of Jesus Christ. For Paul say, for me to live is Christ and to die is gain. My friend, I'm happy because my mind is made up. This world, our, we are pilgrim passing through. This is not our home. We just passing through. Amen. Glory to God. This is not our home. Amen. So, so, so our affection, our mind, our treasure is on is on in is is in heaven. It's not on earth because if it's on earth, rust and 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 uh, come and corrupt it and steal it. But where our treasure is, our heart may be also. Amen. But listen, what I say, verse thirty-two. Behold, the hour coming, the year is now come that ye shall be scattered, every man to his own, and shall leave me alone. And we've seen that that when Jesus Christ died. All disciples hid in their home. Amen. But the Mary Magdalene, she went back to the sepulchre. Amen. She was crying. Say, where do you, where do you, you're taking away my Savior? And Jesus Christ say, Mary. And you, and, and, and uh, Martha, Mary say, Rabboni, Master, Master. But Jesus Christ said, don't touch me. Because I have, I have not ascended to my Father and to your God. But go tell my disciples that I am risen. Amen. Glory to God. And shall leave me alone. And yet I am not alone because the Father is with me. And this is verse 33. And I'm and I'm done. It says, These things I spoke unto you, that in me you might have peace. You might have calmness. You might have peace. In the world you shall have tribulation. You may have trouble. Trouble coming your way. But Jesus Christ encouraged us, as I'm encouraging you right now, that in but in, but be of good cheer, be of good consolation, be of good happiness, like I'm happy, amen. The joy that I have, the world didn't give it to me, 
and the world cannot take it away. It might take my job. It might take my car. It might take my kids. Hey, man, but one thing you can't take, you can't take my joy because if you kill me, I'm still happy in Jesus. Hey, glory to God. I have overcome the world. In, in the world, you should have tribulation, but be of good cheer. Be of good happiness. Amen. Be of good joyfulness. I have overcome the world. My friend, as I close this Bible, are you ready to, to go to heaven? Because it's going to come a time in this year, amen, as we see that the presidency race, that there is no good candidate. And then the president that, 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 that you all have set into the White House. Amen. He decided that he he don't want to he want to do a third term. Yes, a third term. And when a third term comes, Amen. He gonna massacre Christianity. He gonna massacre those that believe in the name of Jesus Christ because he is a pre antichrist. Do you remember the story? Do you remember Johnny Carson? How Johnny Carson say, "Yes, Johnny." So Obama gonna say here's the Antichrist, and a lot of people, a lot of you all that are duped by change, you will say yes, I want change. Yes, yeah, change, all right. He want to bring change, change of 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 uh, the militant, amen. He want change of gun control and our health, amen. My health is important to me. My life depend on Jesus Christ. What does your life depend on, my friend? Does your life depend on your job? The money in your bank? The car you drive? The house you live in? Your life ought to depend on Jesus Christ. So I'm telling, I'm saying to you on this video, the third video now, that to live is Christ and to die is gain. Listen, our goal is soul. My goal is soul. Amen. And my goal is to tell you the truth. Nothing but the truth. So help me, God. There's a heaven, my friend. Don't be fooled by cultic movement by saying that heaven is a pigmentation of your mind. Heaven is on earth when you're rich. Amen. That's not that's not not, not what the Bible tells me. He say that let not your heart be troubled. Ye believe in God, believe also me in my father's house, there are many mentioned. If it were not so, I would tell you, but I go prepare a place for you. And when I go, amen, you shall believe also. Amen. So I'm saying to you that there's a heaven because Jesus Christ said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man come to the Father but by me. So believe me, there's a heaven. Don't let the Jehovah's Witness trick you of saying that. The, the mansion is in California, is the resting place for JWs. Amen. It's false, my friend. Heaven, he's coming back for a church without a spot or wrinkle. But for me to live is Christ and to die. Amen. Are you ready to die? Amen. Dying can be dying to sin. Dying to fornication, dying for adultery, dying for all those promiscuity. Are you ready to die, my friend? Die for the name of Jesus Christ. Because Paul said, for me to live is Christ. And to die is gain. God bless is my prayer to you.